It's 1994 and NASA and McDonnell Douglas, which Boeing would later acquire, embark on a daring mission to build a prototype for the next generation of US Air Force fighters. This time, however, stealth technology would take center stage in the development process for the first time. What they come up with is the X-36, a plane that on paper shouldn't even be able to fly. It was designed to fly without the tail, a part essential in controlling and stabilizing an aircraft during flight, a necessity basically. This new concept for a tailless stealth fighter seem like nothing more than a gamble but this plane would not only take to the skies but nail a total of 31 successful flights shattering and exceeding all expectations removing an aircraft's tail causes many problems for one without the tail how do you control the aircraft in the first place the tail of an aircraft is crucial for a reason without it you have no rudders or elevators that means you can't stabilize control or even maneuver the aircraft during flight these parts control the very fundamental movements of the plane the rudder controls the yaw and is majorly responsible for the steering and turning of the aircraft the elevators change the pitch or the angle of attack and control the ascent and descent of the aircraft you can probably see why without a tail an aircraft is uncontrollable and is really a disaster waiting to happen These problems make this idea to remove the tail entirely sound pretty stupid but there was a reason the thinking was that without the tail the aircraft would be both stealthier and more efficient but how well removing the tail meant that the plane would have a smaller radar cross section while being easier to cover in radar absorbent materials the X36 would also be lighter and encounter less drag due to its now even more streamlined shape engineers believed that this design would enhance maneuverability and extend the range and payload opening up possibilities for a wide array of missions but before the X36 could prove its groundbreaking design the engineers would first have to find a way to control the aircraft to achieve this they shifted the main wing towards the rear of the plane and attached canards near the front to stabilize and help control the pitch but they didn't stop there split ailerons were added to control the roll and direction of the aircraft the real game changer would be equipping the X36 with advanced thrust vectoring nozzles like the ones we see in F35s today these would further increase stability but even after all that the plane without a tail was still inherently unstable so on top of all that they also added a digital fly by wire control system which would smoothen the motion of the aircraft finally in may 1997 the world would watch in astonishment as the X36 would take to the skies not just once but 31 times exceeding all project goals the revolutionary plane proved that tailless fighters were not only more maneuverable but stealthier and more efficient the plane's pilotless design meant they could withstand significant damage and take a much harder hit if necessary making them ideal for future roles as a drone fighter or as an autonomous combat support drone eight fifth gen fighters in a kind of wolf pack tactic despite the successes of the program today there have been no reports of further development of the X36 but ultimately the X36 would prove that tailless fighter aircraft were not only possible but could be the future what do you think